Hi everyone, here we are with Miriam. Miriam came to me the first time because she wanted a massage. She suffered from a lower back pain and we were on the bed. She was on her belly and I saw an interesting feature. Can you go on the side? Okay, so do you see this part that stick out? I zoom a little bit. Okay, so do you see this area? Here, that sticks out a little bit and also this area which is completely flat so the spine here should be more rounded and you shouldn't have this when I saw this immediately I asked okay we can return back immediately I asked her did you have any uh, injury on the arm because this area is compatible with the uh, brachial plexus she said, uh, eight years ago, I fractured uh, the wrist. Let's see how the neck moves now. Can you please perform this movement, okay? Try to focus on this area. Do it again, okay? Okay, this area moves uh, a little bit less than the other one. But also, uh, when she was quite young, she had an injury and she broke the, the foot. Was the foot? No, me. Uh, the knee, but also the foot, you said foot another... Foot is uh, six years ago. Okay, so the foot is another, um, let's say, recent injury, but the oldest injury is on the knee. Everything on this side, right yes. side, everything on this side. Now, uh, show me how you bend the spine on the left, okay? Try to focus the attention here, okay? And the other one. Okay, this part, do it again. Okay. Okay, also a, a different. Do you feel when you go on a side and the other is different, okay? Now, I will show the, the test for the knee. Here is very uh, visible this, uh, let's say, cervical thoracic area, which doesn't work properly at all. And uh, for the knee, it's a little bit harder. It's L3, the innervation of the knee, but here, because she, she has a, an injury on the foot, there will be a restriction also on the sacrum. Now, what we do? We do some test on the ankle to see if there is any difference. Do you feel any different when I do this? No. Which one is harder? This. Okay. So the aversion, aversion is this movement here of the foot. This one is harder also. It's not a big difference, this one. This one is not a big difference. This one, you feel it, yeah? This one doesn't go over. 90 degrees this one goes very very easily because there is an injury she had also a direct injury on the knee but uh, because there is an injury on the sacrum l3 when you go and try to rotate externally the hip this one it doesn't go there is like a, a limitation there because there are uh, restrictions so you can do this test one and to this one, the end of range is more soft. This one is stuck, okay? It reaches one point in which it won't go further. Again, uh, L3, very easy to find. You feel? It doesn't go L3 that way. And the sacrum. You see, very heavy. And this is very light. Also, all this side, it will be a little bit more stiff, but just because of the position of the pelvis, which change, misalign, as I always tell, and then all the muscle rearrange. So it's never a lack of strength that you have regarding your condition, um, but is a misalignment, which come from usually previous injury. We can do some tests for the knee. You had an injury, a direct injury on the knee, it was in the front here, you fell, or what? On the side, okay, a little bit below the knee. Oh. Let's try some test. The extension, you feel? Mm -hmm. So this one extend, and this one is more stuck. Show me how you bend. Are you, yeah. Okay. This one, it goes even more. Okay, do it the other one. Okay, the other one is a little bit more stiff, this one. Again, is not the limitation here, it's what happened here, which is a problem. Misalignment, and then one knee has a lack of flexion, the other one has a lack of extension. Then you lose the balance. Over the time, you have lower back pain, like she has, 
She could have pain on the foot, pain on the shoulder. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She has pain on the lumbar spine. We can assume the lower back is particularly misaligned. So I go on the lower back and I try to explain the patient. This is why you get the pain. First, I can put my hand here very easily. The other side is similar, but a little, a little bit less. You feel? 10 times harder on the right than on the left. So all the right side paraspinal are extremely heavy. Plus the spine is in extension. So I can put my hand all the way down, all the way. Other test, this is very interesting here, there will be no mobility. So left to right, there is, right to left, it's painful, okay. There is no mobility. I will treat her, I will show you what's going on. What do I treat in a patient like that? If I want to do a local treatment, uh, can you lift a little bit the pelvis? You just need to go here, okay, put your way down. So the oldest injury you said is the knee. The oldest injury um, is the knee? When I was mm. 11 years 11. Oh, yes. okay. So it's the old. Yeah, oldest. Take a deep breath. Okay. So if I need to compare the sacrum, which is this bone here where there is the innervation of the, of the foot, and uh, the knee, which is here at three, around here, this part is more stiff. So what I do, I compare L3. Does it bend on the right side? Let's try. Very hard. Mm. Plus the injury here. Does the neck bend around the brachial plexus? Is everything more than the knee? In fact, the knee is the oldest injury. Usually your body wants treatment where the injury is old. So the body accumulate all these injuries, which you don't know, you will never get rid of. And then the oldest are always the more important. So you accumulate injury over injury over injury. You don't need to start from the newest, but from the oldest that you had in your life. So 11 years old, she had an injury just below the patella. The knee, it's not a, a great limitation here. So if you will do the test, most of the people don't even check the extension. They look at the knee, yes, it, it extends enough. It's not enough. You need to extend because the extension is very little movement. You need to understand the end of range. This is completely blocked. This one, it bends a lot. This one, I cannot um, do it at all. All the leg is sensibly more hard. All the muscle around are different. And plus, you, you lose the external rotation of the same leg. What I uh, can do for this lady today? L3 is the main problem. But L3, as we said, is the innervation of the, of the knee. There is a big lack of extension. I will stay a few seconds like that, and I wait. What do I need to, um, to feel to... Uh, confirm that there is an, a knee injury, a compression. So our body has an intrinsic motion in which the body uh, rhythmically does some kind of movement uh, up and down, rotation external, rotation internally of all the joint. If I'm here and I feel only a movement similar to this, there is a problem. In this case, I need to wait a little bit more. I feel a twist, which is not enough. Nowadays, do you feel any pain on the knee? Or is it just... Yes. A, do you, the, yeah, because there is a rotation, yeah. Okay. There is a rotation. So, when the patient comes to me, say, I have a pain on the knee, I put my hand like that, just below and above, and I usually feel a twist. So, one hand twist, a twist is something like this or something like this. That justify the pain. That tell me there is a big dislocation on the knee, which is confirmed by the lack of uh, movement. Because 
while this extension is blocked, bend the knee, this one, bend, 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 bend. If I go at the end of range, it's not blocked, it's, it's elastic. So here definitely there is not an injury, here there is. Because the end of range is what matters. It's the feeling that you get from the end of range. It's very, very stiff. It is true, the knee is doing something like this, plus it, it close to each other. It's like if it can press on the outer side. Take a deep breath. Now, it's not important because it won't be relevant for you. What I want to show is that uh, a person which, which is, who is trained can feel these things. Whatever I feel here, if she has a pain on the knee, whatever I treat, after the treatment, I recheck and I need to feel a completely different sensation. In that case, I can say something changed and I can expect an improvement, which will be forever. Okay? The long lasting improvement, that's the biggest uh, problem. You, you, you will rarely, very, very rarely find some kind of approach which will make a difference forever. So you will feel better and then in one year everything will return, usually worse. The anatomy will get worse, worse and worse and then you will lose the cartilage and then you will be prone to other accidents which you can have just by walking. You can break a meniscus, you can break an ACL just by walking. But the knee wasn't working properly before. Take a deep breath. A deep breath helped me because it increased, it makes a little bit more heavy than the movement that is going on here. Take a deep breath, yeah? Again. So she remembered this injury when she was 11. So when you remember an injury, sometimes people fracture something they don't even remember if it was a arm, if it was a leg, if it was a left or right. But when you remember, it means that it, it stuck in your, ma in your mind. So it was quite a big trouble. So it twists and it compresses a little bit. It's not a big compression. How, how did it happen? What happened here? Uh, something, um, but uh, with a force of when I was okay. playing. Ah, okay. Playing what? Uh, in a park. Okay. You, um, there was a person that landed on you? No, no. it's like a iron stick. Oh, okay. Someone it's, launched. An... No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. It's playing. So you play... Okay. You play with iron <laughs> stick. Okay. <Yeah. laughs> In some parts of the world, they play with iron stick. Now, if, if I, uh, also, if I touch here, if I touch here, you feel, yeah? It's completely different. Yeah. This side is 10 times harder. Definitely, the body, and when I say the body, mainly I mean the spine. The spine knows everything. So if I ask the spine, what's going on? The spine knows where is the main problem, what do I need to do? So I just need to go here and say, even if she had a fracture on the knee, I may need to start from a rib, who knows. This is how you make the body better for real. Take a deep breath. Okay, out. Okay, in fact, when she breathes also, the lumbar spine goes in extension, which is a problem. This is a the treatment is very easy. It's not easy, but it's easy when you learn how to do it. This is the spine. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it's not okay. It's painful. <laughs> uh, Take a deep breath. Yeah. So around the L3, so the lower part of the spine moves, it's quite soft, and there is this part very, very hard, and then the top is, is twisted. So it's like if the spine at some point is a little bit um, is twisted and is raised. That's why I can put my hand. I can be like this around that area, so the bottom and the upper part of the lumbar spine. Take a deep breath. Okay, I just confirmed multiple times something that I already know. I will need to treat here. Let's stay here and let's see what's going on, okay? The treatment is very light. You won't feel anything 
nothing will be felt by you. The treatment is very, 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 very light. This way of treatment is very nice for people who have contraindication, who cannot lie, who lie on the back, people who have lots of pain and they think uh, any kind of treatment, any kind of exercises can make the condition worse. Uh, people who had an injury or they had an aggravation of pain since they saw a kind of a therapist or they tried to do exercise. Lots of people do exercises and they feel a lot worse after. It's basically the same. You feel it? 